Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Steve Park slash Hank Parker Jr.'s Cheese Nip slash Fig Newton car from 2003. As always, take a quick look at the box. You got a very nice box sleeve here. Got Kraft Cheese Nips, Fig Newton action. Got a big render of the car right there with a bunch of cheese nips around it. Steve Park signature down there. Got the same stuff down this side. Action Collectibles, 124 scale stock car. Got the back half of the render on this side of the box. Made total 5,760 of these things. And there's your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Now, if you're wondering why I called it Steve Park slash Hank Parker Jr., because this is a Steve Park die cast, but Steve Park himself never actually raced this car. By the time this car ran, it had already gotten that whole, like, you know, swapping driver thing going on where Steve Park left DEI. They had, like, Jeff Green come in, and, you know, there was the John Andretti did some DEI races and Petty Car and all that, you know, craziness going on. And that was why, like, I used to have this car a while ago because I was like, oh, it's a Steve Park car. I have to have a Steve Park car. I have all the other Steve Park cars. And then eventually learned, oh, he didn't run it. So I got rid of it and then eventually bought another one because it is a really cool looking paint scheme. Yeah, officially, this was only run by Hank Parker Jr. Martin Truex Jr. also did race a car like this, but it was an 81 car, but it was the same Cheese Nips paint scheme. Which, if you don't know what Cheese Nips are, because apparently they've been discontinued now, they're basically Kraft's knockoff Cheez-It, as you probably can tell by the, you know, box, that they are literally, like, they look exactly like a Cheez-It. They really did have, like, an odd, um flavor to them like they they tasted like almost like they had like a more like milky type cheese on cheese nips than versus like the cheese it flavor that i'm sure everyone knows by now but yeah they apparently discontinued them back in like 2020 or 2021 i didn't even know they were still going for that long but like when i got the car i was like oh i should get you know a box to put in the background for the video and looked it up like oh they don't even make them anymore whoops but anyways let's do a quick 360 of the car I don't know if you can tell or not, but the actual, the entire orange on this car is actually metallic. It's like a metallic sparkly orange. It's just a really cool looking car, the way the like orange just fades down between some yellow into like a white at the bottom. This is just one of the many cars they had with like Kraft and you know, all those like Kraft Nabisco and all those other cars that Dale Jr. used to have. I always could have gotten some Fig Newtons, I guess, for the video, but I'm pretty sure they still make those. But it is kind of funny how Cheese Nips eventually did die, but they had a good run. Like I said, if they lasted all the way to like 2020 or 2021, that's insane. It was always funny because I remember back in the day where you would have like an aisle full of all these different Cheese It flavors, and at like the very bottom corner, you would have just like one little row of Cheese Nips. <laughs> I don't know. So they were, they had a different flavor than Cheese Its, and it was never really that good, to be honest. <laughs> but. Anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Kraft Cheese Nips. Got Chevrolet Monte Carlo number eight. Down the side, you have Fig Newton. You got Kraft Cheese Nips down there. On the C post, you have NabiscoWorld.com. And on the B post, you have the American flag, DEI, and Team Nabisco. Got Steve Park's name on the name rail right there with DEI and the flag. Does have the Bush logo and the Bud Pole Award logo. On the back, you have Fig Newton's, got two number eights and a Chevy bow tie down there. There's a good shot of the uh, sparkly metallic paint. Got Fig Newton's Fruit Chewy Cookies on the deck lid. I've never really liked Fig Newton's, to be honest. I don't like fruity cookies and stuff as much as like, just like, you know, chocolate and cream and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know. Got nothing on the roof. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. So you got cheese nips under there. There's the old school engine detail if you want to see that, which is still much better than we have even on the elites nowadays. Deck lid, of course, does still open back then. There you have your typical fuel cell and such back there. No roof flaps yet. And there's the inside of the car if you want to see that. I mean, it has roof flaps, but they don't work. They didn't start working on the ARCs until 2005, I believe. But not a whole lot to talk about a car like this. Just a really cool, like, you know, food paint scheme. It's one of those, as you know, I do like to collect the kind of, like, name brand food paint schemes just because they're always cool looking and they make a good collection. But 
if you want this card is not worth anything, you can get this card for like 10 bucks, even lower sometimes. Like I said, I'm sure a lot of people that own this car don't even know it's not actually a Steve Park car. The Steve Park never actually raced this. It seemed funny, when this was unveiled, it actually was on the older Monte Carlo body, so you can find a picture of like an even cursed version of it on the old Monte Carlo body. But, like I said, this almost doesn't really fit in my Steve Park collection. This is just kind of, like I said, it is officially a Hank Parker Jr. car. But, like I said, if you want one, you can easily get one for very cheap. Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com, and if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. Just go check it out if you want anything. But I think, Trich, all there is to say, this has been a review of Steve Park slash Hank Parker Jr.'s Kraft Cheese Nip Chevy from 2003. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.